In this video, I want to show you how to set up a shelf button to select certain controls of a rigged character. I'm doing this for some lip syncing so that I can make sure that, uh, you know, I can kind of select the controls that I want when I do the lip sync every time. So it's kind of a nice little shortcut that you can do and it's pretty quick to do. So I'm just going through and I'm selecting the controls that I am gonna kind of use for just sort of the, the mouth shapes. And I, I wanna be able to kind of set some mouth shapes and kind of do that. So I'm just gonna select these controls and I'll select these two, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up saving that as a shelf button. And uh, kind of one easy way you could do this is if you go down to the, go to the script editor. Uh, every time you select things, uh, there's certain commands that will always show up here in what's called the history, right? So down here is where you can, you know, kind of write your own script, but this creates a history of things that you've done in Maya. Now, before I started selecting, I click this button right here, which clears everything. It clears whatever's down here and it clears what's ever up here. I could just do this one, right? And then it'll clear whatever's in the history. And then I go through and then I, so I could just kind of isolate what I'm doing. And so just to kind of walk this through, everything that's output to this panel is part of uh, what's going on. It's kind of what you're doing in Maya and it kind of runs that script. Uh, the cool thing about Maya is it runs sort of like a compiler. Uh, it's got these you know, scripted codes and even a, a Maya ASCII a scene file that's a Maya ASCII file contains the code to recreate that. So every time you open a Maya ASCII file, it's, it's basically rebuilding your entire model from scratch or your entire animation from scratch because it's all just a script that, that recreates it. Right, so that's kind of how Maya works in the back end. So it kind of works like a compiler. So these are all the commands that it took for me to do this. And it, to just kind of prove that, if I select just this one, then uh, it, it showed me that. It, it basically is saying that um, it's selecting, uh, and then it says uh, this R is basically making it the only thing that's in the selection. Everything above that is what I did before. And you'll see it's this TGL like toggle. So what that's doing is it's toggling it on and off, right? But I'm gonna grab all this because uh, I want this command that said, says select uh, CL clear. It clears the selection list. And this one right here might not be duplicated, but I wanna fix that. If I look at uh, control mouth R and I've got a control mouth L. Right, so it selected all those controls, but I'm gonna change that once I kind of get this going. So once you have that and you select every command that you want, I'm not gonna do this one because I don't want this lower one because that was one that I kind of showed as a proof that I just selected that one piece, right? And you can already see uh, that one should actually be part of the list. And if it's not, then I might just use it. So I might have not selected that originally. So I, I think actually at this point when I see this, I don't see it's duplicated in this list right, that lower face jaw. Uh, oh, there it is right there. So I already have it in that list, so I don't need it. So I'm just gonna select all these, and I'm just gonna drag. I'm just uh, clicking down with the left mouse button, and I'm gonna drag it up here. And it's gonna, I'm, I'm actually putting on the custom shelf. I selected the custom shelf, and I had another button there, but I'm creating a new one. So it says save script to shelf as Mel or Python, and this is a Mel script. Most everything that goes on here is Mel. So I'm gonna create it as Mel. And I can close that script editor. I can clear out this history if I want to. And I can close that. And then that will select all those controls. But I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna edit it because a couple things are going on. It's got this R. And actually I'm gonna just change that to TGL, right? So I can, uh, by the way, if you ever wanna look up what these commands are, you can go to the Autodesk website and kind of uh, sort of browse for Mel commands and you can kind of look them up. So there's a lot more to it if you uh, ever need to, you know, kind of do any kind of programming like that or write any Mel scripts or Python scripts. There's a lot of resources out there for that. So uh, once I have that modified, I could just go ahead and close that. And if you want to, you can right click and edit again. And you could see that I've modified it so I don't have to save it. I don't have to click a save button. It just saves it, right? But I can save that shelf. Now, when you exit out of Maya, uh, when you kind of just quit it, uh, as you know, sort of a normal quit, it will save those shelves. But if you're afraid that Maya might crash on you and you'll lose that, then you could just go and save all shelves and it's gonna save that as part of uh, sort of the default. And then when Maya opens up the next time, it'll be there. Now it's only really good for this character. It's not gonna work for, you know, for multiple characters because the 
sort of the names are all different and I have this character reference. So it's going to work for my character, uh, at least in this scene or any scene that has a character referenced. So that's the way it works. So if I, I deselect and I actually could, you know, have some other control selected. And when I select that, click that button, it's only going to select those controls that are in that shelf button. Now, if I want, I can actually edit it and kind of cool little things you could do real quick is if I just don't like that little M, I can select uh, the, uh, the shelf editor, right? I go to shelves. It's going to have this custom shelf, right? And then the custom script for this. And then what I can do is I select this little M, this little Maya uh, button. And what that's going to do is it's going to show me all the available icons that Maya has. Now, there's not one specifically for this, but I do know there's like basically a circle that will kind of work. It kind of looks like a little control. So uh, it is the uh, curved surface system when you create a, a curve, you know, uh, in Maya to create like a control for a rig. That's the icon for it. But I can select that and use it for it. And then I click Save All Shelves and I can close that. And then I've got that one right there that will allow me to select those, right? So now I can kind of give it an icon. I can create my own and, and put that in there and, and use that for a shelf button. But uh, just really short, I, I can kind of set that up and get that going. So that's how to do that.